Hello, Gemini. This is Star Bright. Here to do your daily reading for June the 3rd, 2020. This is not going to resonate with everyone. So, don't get mad if it's not your story. This is for Gemini for June the 3rd, 2020. Hmm. Let me see what you guys are dealing with right now. For the sun, the moon, rising in Venus. Spirit of the earth, water, air, and fire. Give me the answers that I am seeking for Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini? For uh, June the 3rd, 2020. What messages do you have for my Gemini? Hmm. Some of you guys are won't changes. Some of you guys are having some kind of luck and change. Yeah, some kind of luck. Some guys are have some kind of changes going on. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Spirit, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this change. Tell me. What? A marriage? A commitment? Someone is an authority? Someone could be locked up? So, a lot of you guys are having change in, in a commitment or a marriage. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this Will of Fortune and Hyphen. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Give me some clarity on these cards. Tell me more. Hmm. You have some changes or luck with someone that you could be a father of their kids. Um, someone in authority. Someone that you're married to. Someone that you're committed to. So this is someone that you had plant your seed with. So there's some changes going on with someone you had already plant your seed with. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Some of you guys are have some, uh, having some changes with a Pisces. Or some of you guys are having some changes with someone that you're married to that you plant your seed. That's keeping something from you or hiding something from you. Or changes behind the scene that you don't know about. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone that you had an ending with. Some of you guys are dealing with Scorpio and the Pisces. There's some changes going on. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. This is keeping you up at nighttime. You're not getting in the sleep. It's almost to an end because you got the nine of swords. You got one more sword left. You got one sword. You got one more. You want to fight? You got one sword left to fight with. Tell me more. 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 This is someone that you're guarding yourself from. You're guarding yourself from someone that you had the ending with. The person was keeping things from you. This is someone that would, you plant your seed and you're guarding yourself from this person. Because this person keeping you up all at night time. There's too much going on. This person that you're guarding yourself from wants a commitment. But this person gonna be given to two people. They time, they money, their energy, they loving, giving it to two people. You and somebody else. Tell me more. Tell me more. This person is juggling. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more about them. This could be a cancer or a Leo that you're dealing with that's juggling you. And somebody else? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone that you have a secure family with. You could be married to this person or living with this person. But it is a secure family not worried about money. Tell me more.
Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more. You feel like this person is a missed opportunity. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. You don't know where you stand. So you, you're trying to see things from a different point of view. This relationship is like is at a stop, at a standstill. So you're trying to make a decision about this? Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Someone that you want to balance things with? You trying to be patient about this? You want to offer this person. You want to pretty much sweep this person off their feet. You want to take this person out to eat. Or this person want to take you out. The roles can be reversed. We want a new start with this person. Give me more. You feel like this person betrayed you, backstabbed you. You just feel like this is an ending. You want to communicate with this person. You want to take action. This is someone that is your wish fulfillment. You want to charge in and pursue this person. This is someone that broke your heart. The same person that broke your heart. You want to charge in and offer a new commitment to this person. But you feel like this person was hiding things from you, juggling you and somebody else, giving their love and time and energy to someone else. You want to rush in and, uh, and offer this person a uh, uh, commitment. You want to start with this person. This is someone that you took a break from. This is someone that you want to move forward with. So you're trying to decide between two people. Tell me more about this two of swords. What about this two of swords? This is someone that you had an argument with, a fight with, this queen of cups. Cancer, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or even another Gemini that you want to pursue. You want a new beginning with this person. Let's get you over. Let's get you guys overall energy. Gemini overall energy. You guys are standing in your power. He's got the Queen of Pentacles here. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. You could be thinking about somebody else that's as well. Queen of Pentacles. That you see the sunshine with this person. You see this person very grounded, independent. They, they like nice things around them. You see this sunshine with this queen of pentacles. We, you want a reunion with this person. You see this person very fiery. You can't tell the person what to do. This could be a good mother, a good, um, a good listener. This is someone that you had to tower with. At the bottom of the deck, three of pentacles. This could be someone that you met at work. This could be someone that um, is in a third party, or you could be in a third party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to, you want a truthful start with this person. You want to tell the truth. You want to message this person about why you had to walk away from this person. Because you because you were struggling. You were feeling. This whole situation is pretty much what burden, burden you. So you want to move to common waters with this person because you felt left out in the cold. Things were moving too fast for you. You want to pour all your emotions out to this person. You try to make a decision. But you want victory with this person. This person can have their own business. They can have their own business. That, that person very, how do I say, controlling. You feeling sad that you want to manifest this person back into your life. This is gonna be a this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra. 
that you were being very deceptive toward this person in your past. That you've been very deceptive toward this person in your past. That could be a psychic. That person was, um, you think that person was hiding something from you? They know something, but they, they're not telling you. So you were trying to balance things with this person about offering this person, uh, um, send this person a very important message. You try to be hopeful, but you were being toxic at the same time. You had that devil energy. Some of you guys are dealing with uh, Capricorn. So you made a decision to be quiet. You walked away. You needed that me time. But you want to send a person a message, though. Mm -hmm. But you're in and out. You think this person is a player, but you're in and out this person's life. Because you have options, but you see this person as your soulmate. That you're stuck on, holding on, and you don't want to take this new beginning with this person, but you see this person as your happiness. This person is your twin flame. Some of you guys want to marry this twin flame. You want to move in together. You see this person very stable. This is someone that you can have a, um, a good relationship with. This is a good partner. This is a good husband. This could be a good wife. And you see this person as the empress. That you're trying to make a final decision about. This is someone that you are watching. That you want a you want to commit to this person. This person can live at a distance from you. This is your ex that is very stable and grounded. This is someone that you're feeling your repercussion of your actions because you cut that person out of your life. Hmm. All the signs are here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, and an Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What am I missing? Aries, Leo, Sag. All oh, the zodiac signs is here. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. And thank you guys for following my channel. Until next time.